Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. I'm the friend. Hey everybody, here with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be looking at my NECA Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th collection. But before I go any further, let me just say if you like this video or any other videos on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be getting into my Jason NECA collection and this custom Friday the 13th cabin diorama after my intro coming in here now. And here they are. This is my complete Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees NECA collection. The only one that I don't have, as you can see, is the video game one. And here we'll take a quick uh, look through at all of them. Here's part two, part three, part four, part five Roy. And then uh, here's some more look at Part two, a little bit closer, a little bit more into part three. And here part four, I actually put the hand from the dream sequence part five on my part four. And there's my boy Roy. Then we have a uh, part six. And of course the newest one, part seven. And then uh, Freddy vs. Jason Jason. And then of course the remake Jason. Get a a little closer spend some time on all of them I have done reviews for a few of them on my channel I will post links in here so you can view more of those if you'd like and if you'd like me to do more reviews on the ones that I haven't done put down in the comment section and I can probably make that happen for you guys and then back here we have the dream sequence part 5 Jason and then I also have the Friday the 13th accessory set I couldn't get these things and not get that. And then that windmill, that's actually something we got for a diorama we're planning in the future. And we'll get into that later. And then uh, we actually, here's the fire pit from came with part two and Mrs. Voorhees head. And then we have a final girl here, which I'll get into more detail on her a little bit later in the video. And here are the tombstones, came with different figures, and another shot at the Camp Crystal Lake sign. And here's my head collection that I have on display at this time. I do have more than these, but I only have six stands, so I can only display six heads for now. So these are my favorite ones. And then, of course, the underwater, you know, Jason stuck on a rock, and I got part six on here. Again, so I have two of the part sixes. And then here's just kind of a quick overview of all of it. It was fun collecting these things, I gotta say. And the diorama itself we'll be getting into here shortly. So we'll go through the whole process of how we made that. And then here is the girl and Gen 10 actually found her, and I'll let her do some more talking about her. Hi, it's Gen 10. That is actually a Briars Farm girl. That she, they're actually horse um, figurines, and she was the best size I could find. We can see that they're a good size next to each other. I think they're pretty good scale. Oops. <laughs> she doesn't hold the machete very well. And down she goes. <laughs> and here is the cabin inspiration from the original Friday the 13th film that we used to build this diorama. And I will let Gen 10 take it over from here. This is the picture of the totem pole I tried to recreate. And the chair and the light post. 
And here it is. This is the tree, the three branches. And then there's the chair with mother's head on it. And the totem pole. I used my daughter's modeling clay and tried to recreate it as best I could. I thought I did a pretty good job. That was the fun part. And then for the ground I used just white glue and coffee grounds and oregano. We do have a light in here that I plan on doing some more work with, but I just, I'm gonna wait till we build more dioramas. I have a light that goes in there. He just didn't turn it on or I get a new one. <laughs> but I do have a light that goes in there and it lights it up pretty nice. This is the roof. I use just popsicle sticks and hot glued them on there randomly. Try to make it as flat as possible. And for the sides, they're all just sticks from the yard. Just went out and got some sticks and broke them up and hot glued them on there. And then painted them up and same with the rocks. I got those from outside. The tree was the hardest thing to recreate. Just another side. I painted it all brown. It's a shoebox actually. And I just kind of reconfigured it and hot glued it and made it a pitch for the roof. And this is what it started as. The front piece is a uh, piece of foam that I used to get the exact measurement. And then I cut the windows out and put some plastic behind it and the door. And that was just for size comparison. And it has a little overhang for the roof that I painted. And then I covered it, like I said, all with sticks from the yard. I just went outside and got sticks, random sizes, broke them, hot glued them on all over the side and the front. And then I made the door out of popsicle sticks. And I left that cardboard piece that uh, gave it some strength, stability, so you could open it and shut it. And then I just used a little tack for the doorknob that I was going to paint. The window frames, um, they were a little too big so I put some brown paint around it of the white and then you see the iconic orange curtains, I put those in and painted the door red and then put some posts on the sides and then I put some rocks around, just hot glued those down and put the chair in and the totem pole, hot glued those on as well. And just another picture of the front. Jason and his weed whacker ready to cause some damage. <laughs> I did a lot of reconfiguring on the floor because I wanted it to look nice so this was just the first draft of the ground and the rocks. Couldn't resist taking pictures of them in front of it though. <laughs> Well, there it is. And as I said earlier, I plan on doing some more lighting and for this uh, cabin, but we're going to do, we plan on doing more of these Friday the 13th dioramas because, you know, we have so many of these figures. So I'm going to wait until I get a couple of them done and on the shelf and maybe incorporate the lighting um, in there into both of them because I am doing all the wiring and lighting all of myself. But anyways, folks, that is my video for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on Mikey J Productions. And again, uh, let me know if you want to see more reviews on some of these figures. So uh, that is my video for you guys today. Take care, everybody, and thanks again for watching. Thank you.